Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the basics of building an elevator. So to start we need an actor blueprint. I will name it elevator. Double click to open the blueprint. Drag and drop your platform into the blueprint. I will use a cube for this example. Resize the cube to make it fitting. Add a collision box to detect the player. Make sure it's a child of the platform because we want it to move with it. Resize the collision area. Now we will start creating the logic. Right click on the box, add event, add on component begin overlap. We also need the reverse case, which is on component end overlap. Drag and add cast to first person character, because I'm using first person. Link this to reference the player. Copy paste it for the end overlap. Drag and add enable input function. also need the disable input function. Add git player controller to get the keyboard input. These are the basics for getting user inputs to interact with things in game. Add a timeline to do the animation. Double click to open the timeline. Add a vector because we want it to move in a specific direction. Our movement will be around the z-axis so let's lock the other axis. Hold shift and lift click to add a keyframe. Set it to 0, 0. Now to determine how far up we want the platform to go, we need to go back to the game. Place your platform. Platform is at 170 in the z-axis. Say we want it to go up there, so move the platform. Now it's at around 470, so that's 300 in difference. Add another keyframe. Time here determines how long it will take to go from the first keyframe to the second. I will set it to 2 and set value to 300. Drag and add set relative location. Make sure it has the correct target. Connect the timeline vector to the new location. This is it for the animation. Now if you want the elevator to use two keys to go up and down, simply add two keys of your choice and link them to play and reverse of the timeline. I will use E to go up and F to go down. Let's go test it. If I press E it goes up as you can see and F sends it down also works at any point of time. But if you want it to only work with one key then we need a few more steps. We will need to use a branch which is equivalent to an F statement if you understand coding. Basically if something then do something. I will use a custom variable for the condition. I will name it door is up and set the default value to false. Right now the door is not up as you can see so the condition needs to start as false. So when it's false then play the animation and send the platform up and true should be the reverse case. Now we need to set the condition to be true since the platform is now up. So when we start the condition is false, play the animation and set the condition to true.
Now that the condition is true, pressing E again will reverse the animation, but nothing will change here because the condition will always be true, meaning the platform won't go up again. So we need another branch here. If the condition is true, make it false, and if it's false, make it true. Don't forget to get your condition here. Now let's test it. If I press E, it goes up. If I press E again, it goes down. As you can see, it's working as expected. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching.